Okay, so this is a cool question. We have PQ and R three points in a plane. R does not lie on line PQ. So there we go. There's a plane, point P, we have point Q, and that forms a line. Boom, just like that. So point R does not lie on this line. So point R could maybe be here. Now, it says which of the following is true about all sets in the plane that are the same distance from the three points. So if we had a point out here, it wouldn't be the same distance. You can see it's closer to P. If we had one right, let's say here, it's equidistant from P and Q, but maybe it's a little bit further from this point over here. So what we have to do is think, okay, well, we're gonna bring this closer now, closer, closer, and at some point, it's gonna become closer to point R than it is to P or Q. Maybe right around here, it's still closer, but at some point, you can think of it as some point around here, this point, just this exact perfect point, it's gonna be equidistant to Q, R, and P. And as soon as it backs up a little bit more, it's now farther away from R than it is from P or Q. Remember that if it goes closer, it passes over this, this cusp, this one single point. So it's all equidistant from these three points. So definitely one of those conceptual problems, but if you see how it has to get this point get moves further away from R than it does P and Q, except for when it gets that certain point, then it crosses over and gets closer and closer to R, so it's like right next to R, but further from P for Q. If you get the idea of that spectrum, that crossover, and that single point where it's all equally aligned, and then boom, that's the answer. And that is B in this case. It contains one point.